Republicans and Democrats are racing to revise the bill to boost U.S. science and technology. It is called the U.S. Innovation and Competition Act. The bill will put new economic pressure on China while helping to give the U.S. an edge in producing high-power computer chips and other cutting-edge tools. But conservative lawmakers say there are some concerns. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales explains. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer hopes to bring the $250 billion bill, the U.S. Innovation and Competition Act, to the Senate floor before senators go for the Memorial Day recess. He says the bill will directly challenge China's growing technological power by supporting U.S. chip makers and science research. We're finally taking action to correct the decades-old underfunding in science and technology, and that has imperiled America's global economic leadership. The bill would appropriate $52 billion to U.S. chipmaking efforts, authorize $16.9 billion for the Department of Energy for research and development and energy-related supply chains in key technology areas, authorize $10 billion to NASA's Human Landing Systems Program, and $81 billion to overhaul the National Science Foundation. Conservative lawmakers are making sure amendments are being added to protect the creation of life and banning animal-human hybrid research. In some of these laboratories where you're actually experimenting with mixing the DNA of different species, uh, called a chimera, and that can be in any combination. Of course, it really gets scary when you're talking about within primates. Senator Mike Braun says this technology is occurring at U.S. universities, some religious institutions, and in other countries. While most have good intentions to cure diseases... There's an ethical point where how far do you take this? Other pro-life lawmakers agree. When we look at this type of a piece of legislation, we always want to find out whether or not there are certain limitations that we want to include in the legislation. So we have to... Uh guard against things like this, and I really appreciate the effort by my colleagues, and this is another example of the pro-life community speaking up. Right now, the debate continues. Other amendments being considered in the bill would be to prohibit the government's use from the social media site known as TikTok and even a diplomatic boycott of the Olympics. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.